Inauguration Day is all about significance and ceremony, but Georgia's new first lady prefers comfort and casual, working on the farm in her soft clothes, as she likes to say. Marty Kemp's title and address changed today, but she says her down-to-earth approach to life never will. There are places where you feel most like yourself. For Marty Kemp, that's the farm. Go fishing or just get in the boat and float around or just, you know, walk around the property. It's, it's just home. Home, where you'll find Marty happy at the helm of a forklift or tractor and never taking the scenery for granted. What do you love most about being out in Athens, out here on the farm, life out here? Uh, just the quiet and peaceful. You know, I go talk to the horses and they don't, you know, of course they're not gonna repeat me ever. It feels forever away from the pace and sometimes painful personality of politics. The run for governor was not in the marriage vows, I can promise you, <laughs> and that is true. Those marriage vows came 25 years ago after growing up together, their parents were friends. You've known each other practically your entire lives. As long as I remember. Their first home was on this property Marty Kemp's father bought the day she was born. It's where they started their family. We have three daughters. The youngest still in high school. They're all adjusting to mom and dad transitioning to the farm in Athens to West Paces Ferry in Atlanta. It'd be hard to move a, a junior in high school, a, a girl as well. So we'll just kind of, as I say, take it one day at a time. Marty Kemp has heard all the criticism and questions. She feels the division and emotion still surrounding their path to the governor's mansion. You know, all I ask is that we respect each other and, and not be ugly. Take the high road and move forward and that's all you can do. She never expected to leave the farm, but says she feels the purpose in what is ahead and the honor of being Georgia's first lady. We're just here to represent the people. You're a public servant. Marty Kemp's late father, Bob Argo, was a Georgia representative for nearly 10 years, a Democrat. Republican Senator Johnny Isaacson served with him and said he didn't have a partisan bone in his body. Marty Kemp was 10 when her father took office in 1977.